Still with Harvey, a staggering two million pounds of pollution was released from Houston area refineries and plants during and immediately after Harvey. Channel 2 investigator Mario Diaz found the Manchester neighborhood on the city's east end particularly affected by releases from the nearby Valero facility. Tonight, Mario continues his investigation, revealing why state resources were missing before and after Harvey. Mario? Dominique Bill, one resident told us they smelled a strong gaseous odor. Not only did they have a spill on their hands for a time, very few knew exactly what was released or how much during this urgent environmental crisis. But we've discovered the state's air monitoring vehicles never left Austin. We felt that we wanted to uh, capture our own data. Once Bakia Nelson with Airlines Houston began getting calls about a foul odor emerging from Valero's complex in Manchester, she brought in entanglement technologies from California to measure pollution levels and compare their findings to those by government agencies like the state's Commission on Environmental Quality. But there was one problem. Channel 2 Investigates has learned TCEQ's air monitoring vehicles never made it to Houston during or after the storm. They have a mobile air testing lab that they could have used here in Houston. It's, been, sit, it's been sitting in Austin this whole time. Why? You'll have to ask TCEQ that. TCEQ acknowledges their air monitoring vehicles have not been deployed in nearly four months. We found them sitting in this Austin parking lot nearly two weeks ago. TCEQ tells Channel 2 investigates the decision to use these units is case by case and dependent upon the targeted sources, pollutants of interest, and accessibility of the area. TCEQ adds they did have investigators on the ground with handheld monitoring equipment. The agency also told Channel 2 Investigates that they did lean on the EPA's mobile laboratory as well as aviation monitoring tests. TCEQ tells us there were no short or long-term health concerns in the samples they collected. Valero's final report to the state did come out last Thursday showing more than 230 pounds, excuse me, thousand pounds of various contaminants were released into the air, including the carcinogen benzene. Bill, Dominique. Thank